Hi, this is Alan Flores, the lead designer of Guitar Hero Metallica. I'm here to talk a little bit about the, uh, the story and how it's a little bit different than Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Um, in Guitar Hero Aerosmith, um, the game was sort of a chronological, you know, from the beginning of the band to, like, to their career today. Metallica wanted to do something a little bit different. They wanted it to be a little bit more based on their, from their fans' perspective. You go to see Metallica play, you see them play for two songs, you actually play as the band, and then you get so inspired, you go to create your own band. And that's where the story starts. The uh, the Titmouse guys, the guys that do uh, Metalocalypse, they did our movies again this time, which is like a perfect fit because you know James and, and Kirk they do voices for that show. But um, your band and that band that you see in the movie, they're called the Posers. You have a little bit of back and forth along the way as you try and uh, play with Metallica. Me. So as the story progresses, you'll be playing as uh, as the opening act, as the, the guest band, playing um, the guest artist songs, you know, bands like Thin Lizzy and Slayer and Queen and stuff. And then when you play Metallica, you're playing as the band. One of the things we were noticing, um, you know, when Guitar Hero World Tour came out is some people were having a hard time figuring out how they're doing and figuring out if the band is close to failing. So um, we really wanted to try and fix that and try and make it better. Um, one of the things we did is we took the individual band meters. They used to be up in the upper left-hand corner, and we pulled them down onto the side of each highway. So now each player can instantly look over to his left and know how they're doing. So it's a lot more obvious if you're, you know, if you're having trouble, if you're struggling. Or if you're on the right-hand side, if you see, look over to the left, you see that your buddy's failing, you can actually you know, throw some star power and save him. The career is based on you know getting stars, and uh, it's really important to know how many stars you're you're at, close to achieving. So we have an in-game star meter this time. Um, it tells you your progress. You know how close you are to three stars, four stars, five stars. I want to talk about uh, a feature in the game that we have that's called the drum over. Something new we added. Basically, what it does is it turns off the drum note track. Um, and it gives you the opportunity to play the entire song like it's a drum fill. Um, but it uses the sounds of the drums that are actually in the song. We turn the score off. Um, it's one of those things that's basically just a really fun feature for you to get in there and just play and just bang away and have a great time and make some noise. And if you want to play it with your friends also, you can turn, turn on drum over and then you can go into band mode and it'll turn off the drum note track. And you can play your own beat with your friends. And that's, uh, that's what we're calling Drum Over, and it's a part of Guitar Hero Metallica, which is coming out uh, at the end of March. <laughs>